Homelessness is an issue of poverty. Unfortunately, 25% of the people in our homeless shelters work for a living but can't make enough to make ends meet. It now takes $14 an hour at a full-time job to be able to afford housing and food here in Louisville, Kentucky. And that doesn't include your other costs like transportation and daycare. I'm a single mother of three kids. I have a 10 year old son and a three year old twins, boy and girl. Um, before I moved into Family Scholar House, I was um, working a full time job in a factory. Uh, basically, Roamed around, you basically bounce from one job to another. Um, after since I got out of service, I think the longest place I ever worked at one time was three to four years. Oh, uh, that was in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, I want people to know that I went through child abuse at the age of five, all the way to the age of 15, and uh, so my mom go through domestic violence with my stepfather. Also, and um, it led up to them getting a divorce. And when they got a divorce, I ended up, me and my mom and my little brother ended up having nowhere to go. That I'm young, that, uh, that really anything uh, can happen to anybody at any age possible. It can be 60, anything. I was homeless. Um, of living out on the streets. Uh, I was uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol. I was a mess. Um, then I started going to St. John's. Well, uh, there's really not much to tell. I come from a decent family. I mean, uh, I was raised by a single parent, meaning my mom. Uh, she raised four of us by herself and, uh, after my father passed. He died of a heart attack while my mother was still carrying me. So I never met him. But uh, my mom, she never did remarry or anything. She just went it alone and raised uh, the four of us by herself. Homelessness can happen to anybody. Uh, I was a very successful person for a very long time. I had a good job, I was an administrative assistant, I was married for 10 years, and then everything just bottomed out, and I turned to alcohol, and ended up sleeping on people's couches. Uh, he took everything, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse, and I just gave up. Um, there really wasn't, at that time, a whole lot of help out there and I felt like I was in a hopeless situation. There were 8,615 homeless men, women, and children in Louisville last year. And every single one of those people was our neighbor. On average, these homeless people are homeless for only four and a half months a year. But during that time, they need our help to make a difference in their life. On behalf of Wyatt Taren Combs and myself, we want to express our sincere support for the Coalition for the Homeless. Without the coalition, our community would be in a far worse place of being able to help those in need. Trying to help and provide support services to people such as the homeless is vital to making our community a better place for everyone to live. I believe it's vital that we provide access to those that need help, and the coalition provides a great resource for homeless to be able to gain the sort of medical attention and lifestyle changes support that they need from people in this community who are able to provide it. We ended up at the Family Scholar House. Um, my mom was a single parent and I lived with her shortly after I had my daughter. We didn't live in a very good neighborhood um, so I realized that we had to move so I could um, find an appropriate place to raise my daughter. So we found the Family Scholar House and moved here in um, 2006. My biggest accomplishment is coming to Kentucky and getting me a house and learning how to budget my money. Why do we serve the homeless in our midst, in our city, in our neighborhoods? Well, my faith teaches that the measure of any great society is how it treats its most vulnerable citizens. Whether the newly conceived, aged, imprisoned, or as in the case of our cathedral lunch program, the hungry homeless. We serve not only lunch, to over 120 men, women, and children every day behind the cathedral. But we serve up dignity. And we do this 
not just because of who they are as children of God, but we do it as well because of who we are, because we are compassionate servants of God. Living compassionately in service to the most vulnerable in our midst is living our best selves. I would encourage all to seek to be your best self by putting yourself at the service of the homeless in our midst. Um, well, I'm at the healing place, and um, uh, I was uh, I was sent here through the Department of Corrections, and um, I would like to complete this program. Um, and I would really like to work with others that are like me. I would like to, to make a difference in their life and share my experience, strength, and hope with them. And um, I, I would love to become a drug and alcohol counselor. I would really love to do that. Basically, I'd like to get back to where, you know, I could be like when I was younger, where, you know, I had a regular job, you know, I didn't have to ask nobody for nothing. I wanted something, I went and bought it. Or if it was something I couldn't afford, I'd save up for it. But with the economy and factors from my past, the odds of don't have a lot of possibilities anymore. Hi, I'm Mayor Greg Fisher. When I was growing up, my parents taught all of us two main values in my family. One is if you can help somebody, help them. Don't ask what's in it for you. And the second is everybody's the same, no matter if you're the President of the United States or somebody that's hard on their luck. Now it's these two values that have continued to guide me and my kids throughout our lives to this point. Also it's how I take a look at what the city should be doing and how we can help everybody. To me it comes down to one central point and that's having compassion thinking about how you can make the world a better place and thinking how it starts with you. Compassion drives us all to make the world a better place. So my challenge to each one of you and to us, me included in that, is find one thing that you can do to make a difference. It might be helping out at a kitchen, it might be donating a pair of shoes, but just choose one thing because I do know that the answer to so many of our problems is citizenship, people getting involved, and then showing the compassion of trying to make the world a better place. Louisville is a compassionate city, and there are so many ways that you can help make a difference in a homeless person's life. Simply go to our website, louhomeless.org, to find the ways that you can participate with a local community ministry or shelter through your funding or your volunteer efforts. You can also take an opportunity there to pledge your commitment and encourage others to participate. I'm Shalia Smith. I am your neighbor. I'm Michael Parsons, and I am your neighbor. My name is Mariah Beatty, and I am your neighbor. My name is Jerry B. Winstead, and I am your neighbor. My name is Peter Wayne, and I am your neighbor. My name is Natalie Harris, and I am your neighbor. I'm Father Jeff Nicholas, pastor of the Cathedral of the Assumption, and I'm your neighbor. I'm Greg Fisher, and I'm your neighbor.